What's going on everyone? Welcome back to our channel where Brad and I are living the all-access life. We are excited to show you a product that has allowed me to increase my productivity while I'm using my Surface Book Free laptop with my eye tracker. That's right, we've been testing the new Microsoft Adaptive Accessories for over a month now and we absolutely love the possibilities this new line has to offer. As the sponsors of today's video, Microsoft has opened up a ton of possibilities for us with this new line. Microsoft Adaptive Accessories is an ecosystem of connected devices that work together and separately to adapt to your unique needs and empower you to be more productive. These tools were made for people with disabilities in mind, but thanks to their universal design, they can be used by anyone. There's a saying that, one size fits all, with the Microsoft Adaptive Accessories, one size fits one. That's a great point, Brad. These accessories really are a one size fits one since you can pick and choose what accessories best support your needs. Let's give them a quick rundown of the components, Brad. Let's do it. Then I'll give an in-depth look at my setup and how I'm able to, for example, use my head to copy and paste and much more. The possibilities are endless. Microsoft Adaptive Mouse. Guys, look at this thing. Look how small it is. It's literally the size of a coffee pod. Wait, now I kind of feel like some coffee. Yes. All right, Brad, back to the review. Let's show them some of the key features. The adaptive mouse connects wirelessly to up to three devices or via USB-C connection. You can use the mouse core by itself as a comfortable and compact mouse, or you can personalize it by attaching a Microsoft Adaptive Mouse Tail for a more traditional experience. The great thing about this mouse is you can also customize it to meet your needs by adding from a collection of 3D printed components currently available from the Shapeways Marketplace. Microsoft Adaptive Hub All right, now onto the next adaptive accessory. The Microsoft Adaptive Hub. The Adaptive Hub lets you create custom inputs for your PC. The Central Hub pairs with up to three devices wirelessly or via USB-C and connects wirelessly to up to four Microsoft Adaptive buttons. Plus, it can connect to your current assistive technology, such as third-party digital buttons and switches, through five 3.5 millimeter ports. The possibilities are endless with this hub. I'm always finding new ways to use it. In this video I'll be going in depth on how this adaptive hub opens up a world of possibilities for me. Stay tuned to see my entire setup. Microsoft Adaptive Button Lastly, let us introduce you to the Microsoft Adaptive Button. Pair the Microsoft Adaptive Button with the Microsoft Adaptive Hub and program sequence macros to simplify complex tasks on your PC or phone. Here's a quick look at one of Brad's favorite sequence macros. He created this macro because when he logs on to his device, he likes to open up all the items on his taskbar. And now we can do that with ease by just clicking one of his switches a few times. The coolest thing about the Adaptive Button is you can put a topper on it that works for you. Whether it's a joystick topper, a dual button topper, or even a D-pad topper. You can customize this button to meet your specific needs. All right, so now that you guys know about all of the Microsoft Adaptive Accessory core components, I think it's time we show you guys Brad's setup and how he uses this kit to best suit his needs. We wanted to emphasize the importance of experimenting. Brad and I have tried multiple different setups to find the one that works best for him. The flexibility of the components made it easy to try as many different setups as we needed until we landed on the right one. We've tried switches on his knees, his elbows, joysticks on his feet, you name it, we've probably tried it. The customization possibilities are basically endless. You can just keep on experimenting until you find the setup that works best for you. Here's a look at what Microsoft Adaptive Accessories work best for Brad. Here we have the Adaptive Hub with some switches plugged into it which Brad's gonna use as head switches. 
I have the most control over my head movements and have used my head to control switches my entire life. I love how the adaptive hub pairs with the switches I'm used to. This made it a very simple transition for me. And then we have the adaptive button with the dual button topper. This topper works best for me since I have limited control over my arm and hand movements due to involuntary movements. With the dual button topper I don't have to worry about being precise with a specific direction. I just give it a hit and it carries out the action I programmed it to do. Now onto Brad's actual setup. So here I am attaching the adaptive hub to the back of Brad's chair. I then attach Brad's head switches. I then plug them into port 1 and port 2 of the adaptive hub. Finally, I attach the adaptive button to Brad's tray. Alright, now Brad's all set and he's going to guide you through his setup. This is how I use the Microsoft adaptive accessories to work for me. Once your hub is connected to your PC you're going to go through the setup process. Once the setup is complete, you're ready to start customizing. Since my head switches are my main controls, I absolutely love how you can program different profiles and switch between them. What does this mean you ask? It means I can have two specific actions programmed on profile 0, then hit the Microsoft Adaptive button on my tray to switch to profile 1, and now my head switches will perform totally new actions. So, depending what program I'm using or what type of work I'm doing, I can switch to the profile that best suits my needs or alternate between all of them. Sequence macros are game changing. They allow you to build your own custom sequence. This way, one button scrolls through a sequence of actions that you program. This is done by adding pauses in between. When I first log onto my computer, I open all of the items on my taskbar. Using my eye tracker I would have to individually look at each item. Then I discovered I could build the following sequence macro to use one switch to open all my taskbar items with a few clicks. I'll run you through this sequence macro to give you an idea. Windows plus one is the shortcut to open the first taskbar item. Then I add a pause in the macro. I then follow up by adding Windows plus two and repeat until all six taskbar shortcuts are in. Now look how much time I save with this sequence macro. Another sequence macro I made, that also saves me a bunch of time is my copy pasta macro, I named it that ha ha. I made this sequence macro so pressing a single button will, on first click, select all the text on screen, on second click, copy all the text, and on third click, paste all the text. When making YouTube videos, I often prepare my lines in advance. I prefer to type my lines in my communication software. Once I'm satisfied with what I wrote, I simply click my head switch once to select all the text, a second time to copy the text, I open up the script word document and click a third time to paste the text into the script. I continuously find ways to use Microsoft's adaptive accessories to save me time on certain tasks. Saving time is very important to me. I now have more time to focus on content creation, more productivity and efficiency on the business side of things. Technology is not always accessible for those with different abilities. And the disability community is often having to adapt to technology rather than technology yeah. adapting to meet the needs of the disability community. Yeah. This is a great example of technology um, adapting to support the needs of each individual. Take your productivity and creativity to the next level with technology that adapts to you. Check out the link in the description below to learn more and find the setup that works best for you. One size fits one. Hashtag Microsoft Adaptive Accessories. Hashtag Productivity for All. Thank you to Microsoft for sponsoring this video.